New since six fireworks inside a public meeting at City Hall to discuss a final report on the way Jacksonville police are viewed by many in the African American community. And you want us to trust you? Hell no. We need a U.S. Justice Department investigation of JSO. During tonight's Safer Together community discussion, All Things Diverse Consulting Company President Dr. Tammy Hodo presented that report after conducting months of research. News for Jack's reporter Eric Aubinier was at tonight's meeting and joins us live outside City Hall to explain, Eric, what's in that report? Yeah, that report, which was revealed earlier tonight here inside City Hall, falls on racial lines. And to be very blunt, uh, the report pretty much uh, reveals that many African Americans here in the River City are most likely to distrust JSO for a variety of reasons. After months of meetings, conversations, and surveys, a consultant hired by the city presented this 52-page report on policing in Jacksonville. A key takeaway, many African Americans across the city don't trust the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. I went into one of Jacksonville's predominantly black communities to find out why. Some of the people we spoke with were not comfortable showing their face. Do you trust JSO? No, I don't. Why not? Because y'all beating on our folks. And they come out to intimidate and interrogate, and they just terrorize us out here. They come out with with an attitude. When they come out here, they harass people. You feel me? And then they don't have no reason to harass people, but they still do it. But not everyone we ran into felt that way. They don't bother me, and I don't bother them. If we don't have police officers, this would be a lawless world. Later on at City Hall, Dr. Tammy Hodo, who prepared this report, used the Orange Crush weekend event to explain why many blacks don't trust JSO. Orange Crush was labeled as Black Beach Weekend, and we put this in our report. There were 100 inmates moved from the county jail to St. John's County or Flagler County, as per reports, to make way for this Black Beach Weekend. Um, but we don't see that when we have 20,000 people come for the Georgia-Florida game. The demographic is different. Then the discussion shifted to the need for a citizen's review board that would allow non-law enforcement members to take part in the investigation of officers that are accused of wrongdoing, such as use of force. Right now, the state attorney's office investigates alleged crimes by JSO officers, but critics say the state attorney's office has the appearance of being too close to JSO. And we don't trust Officer 1 investigate Officer 2. Because Officer 3 got some influence on the investigator. Jacksonville Fraternal Order of Police Vice President Randy Reeves says citizen review boards would be a bad idea. We have seen around the nation that civilian review boards operate off emotions and agendas. Uh, they get hijacked. Now, it's worth pointing out that Dr. Hodo rebuted Reeves' statement by saying she understands uh, his comments, but the public perception is that no one is policing the police here in Jacksonville, which harps back on uh, trust issues with JSO. Now, JSO Director of Investigations Mike Bruno also spoke during tonight's meeting, uh, calling on more resources to help officers who respond to situations involving mental health issues. Reporting live downtown, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.